gonna be towing a heavy load. We are using premium gas. Premium, premium gas. So we're here at the uh, marina picking up the boat. And there is a shot of the boat. Nice LED lights, working good, working good. All right, so there's a shot of the truck and trailer. Getting started here with this towing test, I got the boat hooked up behind me, as you can see right there. And we are gonna reset the mileage. We're gonna go ahead and reset this. Now we're starting off this trip at 18,490 miles, and we're gonna check in, check the miles after. I'm gonna see what the uh, MPG is based off what the computer tells us. And we can also double check and see how much fuel we used at the gas station. So here we go, fuel economy test towing over 6,000 pounds with the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine and an F-150. So we're a half a mile in and so far so good. We are at uh, 7.9 miles to the gallon and uh, the surge brakes on this is working great if it weren't for those I probably crash right into the car in front of me so I made sure all that stuff is working and uh, just uh, cruising along here and doing really good checking back in it is unbelievable how well this little 2.7 liter V6 is towing right now I'm cruising down at like 1500 rpm now I got a 2015 F-150 this is the six speed automatic transmission. Not the fancy 10 speed, just the six speed automatic. And uh, so yeah, this is a 15, so this is the first, uh, this is the first 2.7 liter EcoBoost that was ever launched. So definitely impressed with how well this thing is going right now. Pulling the weight, no problem. Obviously I'm not like a speed racer right now, but the low-end torque is amazing. Anybody who says this doesn't tow like a V8 or doesn't have power like a V8, they don't know what they're talking about. This thing pulls, I'm at 1500 RPM, cruising down, down at 40 miles per hour, no struggle at all for the motor. I mean, it's just, it's not a big deal right now for this motor to handle the size of a boat. It's pretty impressive. This truck is definitely, uh, definitely impressive here right now. We are currently at, uh, Two and a half miles in. We're uh, we're at two and a half miles in, and uh, we have 9.6 miles to the gallon. That is pretty amazing for a for for a load this size to be almost pushing 10 miles to the gallon. Like pretty impressive. So because I'm in because I'm in tow haul mode, the uh, engine is not turning off for the stops, but it's only a 2.7 meter V6 anyway, so so I don't hear at a, at, a, at a red light, it's not a big deal. It's like, whatever, it's 2.7, the turbos don't do much at idle, so. Anyway, uh, I'll check that game once we get on the highway, but uh, so far, so good. So 
cruising along the road here at about 40 miles an hour. This is where this truck really shines because uh, it really handles the weight better at the lower speeds. The RPMs stay really low cruising down the road at like 40 miles an hour. The RPMs are like at 15, 1600 RPMs and it's really just a easy going drive once you're off the highway. Now the highway is a little more dicey. You need a lot of engine. The engine works real hard. You really hear the turbos going, but it does the job and uh, don't have no real serious problems doing it. So pretty cool. We're uh, 34 miles in and we're at 10.2 miles per gallon. We actually do better on the top side than we do on the freeway. I don't know why, but that's how it is. So we're on 34.3 miles and we use 3.3 gallons of gasoline pretty good so far all right we are now halfway in now i'm pulling into the uh rest stop take myself a little break here all right so we're 39.2 miles in and we have 10.2 miles per gallon we used uh 3.8 gallons of gas so what's really interesting is we are pretty much still on full after driving 40 miles with 6,000 pounds behind us. So that's pretty cool. All right, back at the gas station to fill it up and see how many gallons of fuel we used. So the first click says 7.8 gallons. Let's compare the first click to what the trip computer says to see how close it is. Okay, so we're doing one click. We're doing one click. According to the pump, we use 7.83 gallons. According to the computer, According to the computer, we used 7.3 gallons. So that's very, very close. I'm not gonna do a double pump. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And I did have to have to use a different pump because it's just too busy to get the same pump, but that's about as good as it gets anyway.